driving the Ram TRX uh, 1500. This is a half ton truck with the supercharged 6.2 liter 700 horsepower engine under the hood. And uh, it's an awesome truck. I'm gonna go over a few things. We've had this thing for about a week. I'm just kind of testing it out. This truck is roughly $90,000, which is a lot to pay for a half ton truck, but it's more than just a half ton truck. This is kind of like your midlife crisis pickup truck, your sports car, and still a pickup truck if you need to haul something. Um, I think it tows about 8,100 pounds. Not the heaviest towing capacity of a half ton truck, but you could still tow a side-by-side, -side, a boat, um, a small Jeep on a trailer, uh, just about anything like that if you were looking at. I mean, that's kind of the way I was looking at. Like, would you pay 90 grand for a half ton with a sports car engine that is really fun and rowdy in the dirt? Or would you spend that much money on a three-quarter ton or one ton truck? Um, we did take it, we ran down to the dunes, down to Pismo Beach to take it out and rip around in the sand and proceeded to get told Pismo sold out, we can't go in for the day, which is pretty cool because that means a lot of people are using Pismo and hopefully that helps them understand that Pismo should stay open. Not so cool because I have a 700 horsepower truck that I wanna go rip around in the dunes in and they basically said, come back another day. Um, so we did take it out on some dirt roads and whooped around. It's a lot of fun. You, if you don't live by uh, sand dunes, that doesn't mean that you wouldn't enjoy the TRX because the horsepower is there and it's a lot of fun even on the street um, or out in the dirt. Uh, one of the things about this truck is it's pretty wide. It has like a wider stance than a normal half ton. If you're not comfortable driving a one ton dually, you probably wouldn't be comfortable driving this thing because it's got hips. Um, and when you put the hammer down, the hips don't lie. This thing peels out, gets jiggy with it. Uh, it is a lot of fun. It sounds really good, um, and I'm really stoked on it. How does this compare to the Raptor? Uh, I think Ford has had a lot more time to fine-tune their suspension, but with the coil links in the rear and all that horsepower, um, it definitely gives the Raptor a run for its money. So um, if you're looking for your next have fun truck, peel out toy, get with it pickup check it out ram trx um it's really cool i thought i'd go over a few of the specs off of the monroney here um you know that these trucks base price is 69.995 so seventy thousand dollars will get you a TRX crew cab. Um, and then this one that I'm sitting in is $89,000, $90,000. So another 20 grand for the special blue paint, the technology group, because it has this massive display module thing here. Um, uh, advanced safety group, bed utility group, lower two-tone paint, TRX custom fiber or carbon fiber package. Um, Ventilated front seats, which is nice on a warm day. Um, giant rock rails, which are like side steps, but they 
supposedly would work as rock rails, which they're pretty beefy. Um, 19 speaker Harman Kardon premium sound, 1200 bucks just for that. Um, 18 by nine inch beadlock capable aluminum wheels, which is pretty cool that this has beadlocks. Um, uh, these are the type of wheels that can be run as either beadlocks or normal wheels. Um, and then a whole bunch of other luxury things like the leather trim bucket seats, which have, and like the suede and leather steering wheel. Um, it's a really nice truck. Like the interior luxury side of this truck is pretty over the top for a pickup truck. Like if you're used to driving an old uh, square body or Dodge uh, 70s, 80s truck, this thing will blow you away. How many old tires can the Dodge TRX haul? At least four. Probably more or less, depending on how big they are. <laughs> 